Say the word Volvo and the word safety won't be far behind. Volvo invented the seat belt and has always given safety a high priority with all of its products. This is the SCC or safety concept car. It has about every safety device known to man on board or designed in. It's a fascinating piece of kit. After all, the safety concept car is clever enough to call the emergency services should you unfortunately crash. Plus, the car will be able to tell them where you are, how many people are on board and how bad the accident is. But out of all the safety features they've loaded onto this concept, which ones could be practically used on future cars? The most obvious things are the, the electronic things, like uh, the lane change, lane change aid that, that warns you of uh, a car alongside in the blind spot. Um, if you're veering off offline, maybe getting tired or not concentrating enough, you're veering over the white lines or onto the rumble strip. Things like that are very simple. The cameras exist, the, the technology to create the sound inside the car, the warnings, whatever, it's all there. So I think that's probably you know, the next step. The safety concept will stay as a concept since it's a far too expensive proposition to be made into production. Plus, would you really want your car to tell you off if you get too close to the car in front of you and then, incredibly, slow you down? This is arguably in the cause of safe driving, but surely most drivers can be trusted with driving responsibly, can't they? After all, the ones who aren't responsible won't even consider purchasing a car like this one. This is a neat feature. It has sensors to find where your eyes are. As soon as you get into the driving seat, sensors also measure your weight and then along with the eye information automatically adjust the seat and the controls to match your body so you get a comfortable and safe driving position with all the mirrors adjusted to their optimum position. I've tried it out for myself and it really does work. It's remarkable. Well, in the, um, today's car, it is the driver who adapts the seating position to the interior. While in the um, safety concept car, it's completely the way around. We have decided what is the optimal position for the driver in perspective of the perfect view. And with eye sensors, we correct the driver to this position, independent of body size. And after that, all the interiors adapt to the driver's position, such as wheel and pedals. The fact that the chair didn't move backwards and forwards, it only moved up and down, and that the pedals and steering wheel and gear shift moved towards you, um, meant that the A-pillars could be designed with a structure that allowed you to see through it. Visibility is fantastic in this safety concept car. The A or the front pillars in most cars often obscures important information to the driver, particularly in city centres when daffy pedestrians meander in front of your lovely car. Here, Volvo's solution is a see-through A-pillar. But talking of pillars, when you turn your head as a driver, the pesky B pillar is always blocking your view, but not here, since it's simply been bent inwards to aid visibility. All around visibility is one very important parameter when it comes to active safety. Our ambition has been to increase that all around visibility. And with the see-through A pillar and the curved B pillar, we have increased this. The whole human interface has been carefully looked at so that us poor, fallible, carbon-based sentient life forms can easily understand what buttons to press and when. Plus, visual feedback is increased with TV monitors to help you change lanes and to park. This system is already on some current production cars, such as the new Nissan Primera. But doesn't adding new technological gizmos add to the distraction factor for the driver? We have no ambition whatsoever to stress technology for the sake of technology. What we would like to do is optimize the human-machine interface. If we add distraction with technical solutions, that is a poor solution and completely unacceptable. If we can take away distraction with technical solutions, it's a good solution, and that is what we try to do with a safety concept car. The lighting system is intelligent as well, not just a couple of halogens blasting ahead. This Volvo's concept car senses the type of road ahead and creates an appropriate light beam so you can see the maximum possible. It uses something like radar and carbon fibres, but I won't bore you with the details here. The car can sense when you need the light focus or not. It can even look ahead to bends and make the light source bend accordingly. 
Plus the car has night vision, which offers a projected windscreen display. Basically, this is an amplified video picture enhanced with infrared technology. The personal communicator is Volvo's system which brings many existing technologies together. After finding out who you are, it can set the car just the way you like it. So you'd like the radio on channel 7, the aircon on 3.5, the seat lumbar position on maximum. No worry, this car will simply remember your presets. This car really has all the bells and whistles you'll ever need. The cheapest safety feature on this concept is the installation of the four-point safety belt. So how come belts like these haven't been introduced as a standard earlier? Well, first of all, the most important thing is to get the uh, driver and the passengers to use the safety belt. And as you know, today there are still a lot of people that don't do that. So the first ambition is, of course, to use the safety belt. When you use this safety belt, we have introduced quite a lot of parameters, quite a lot of features that make safety belt using even safer, such as pretensioners. With this four-point safety belt, we have a proposal on something that can be even safer. But what we want to do in this product is to measure the customer's acceptance of using a four-point safety belt. And there's the rub. The average punter, certainly in America, and remember that Volvo is now owned by Ford, doesn't like seat belts, full stop. The four-point version may be seen as even more fiddly. Safety is often low on people's wish lists, unfortunately, but full marks to Volvo for trying to create the world's safest car.